Edit Aura Effects asked me, Hey Daniel, I was just wondering how to create fade up words as it's known in After Effects in DaVinci Resolve's free version. It did really help improve my edits. I actually didn't know what this effect was, so I had to look it up. It looks something like this. Let me show you how to create it. From the edit page, go up to your media pool, right click, and let's create a new fusion composition. And we'll call that fade up words. Once that's created, let's bring that down into our timeline. Let's right click on it and let's choose open in fusion page. Now here we'll just have a media out node, but we want to start by adding a background node. Let's bring that down into our node area, connect it to our output. And now we have a black background, but I don't want it to be black. I actually want it to be transparent so the words can be layered over other things in my project. So let's grab the alpha and dial that all the way back. Now with the background node selected, let's grab a text node, bring that down into our node area, and let's connect the output of that to the output of the background, and that will merge that in. Let me move these down so I have a little more space to work. With that text node selected, let's go to the upper right inspector and let's type in some text. Now I want to change the color of some of these words. So to do that, I'm going to go over to my text area, right click right in here, and I'm going to choose character level styling. That will allow me to change things right within that single sentence. Now to change those things, I have to switch over to the modifiers tab. And now in the preview window, I can just left click and hold and I can draw over the words I want to affect. See how it's got that green outline to it. And in this case, I want to grab the color and I want to change that to how about like a bluish teal. Hit OK. And now just those words have been changed in color. Now I'm going to do a few more things to this text. Let me lift that up to give myself some more space. The first thing I want to do is add a bit of a drop shadow to that. So with the text node selected, I'm going to hit shift and space bar on my keyboard. That'll open up my tool selection and let me type in drop shadow, select drop shadow, hit add, and it'll put that right after my text node. And you can see it right up on screen here with it selected. I can do things like decrease the blur. I can see it a little bit better. Seems a little farther away than I'd like. I'm going to bring that a little closer. I'm going to change the angle just a little bit. And I'm going to bring the blur back up. I just want a slight drop shadow underneath those words. Now I also need to make these words glow a little bit. So with the text node selected again, I'm going to hit shift space bar and I'm going to type in the word glow and I'm going to add that glow effect right here. And you can adjust the amount of glow in the upper right. I'm going to leave it just about where it is. I think it does just enough glow to make these words kind of have a little bit of luminosity to them. Maybe bring up the glow size a tiny bit. So now I've got my basic text. Now I need to add some animation. I want to add a transform node just after all of these things. So with the drop shadow node selected, I'm going to click on the transform node. It'll put it right here after these three. And I'm going to bring my playhead all the way back to the beginning. And in the upper right where it says size, I'm going to put a keyframe right there. Now I'm going to move my playhead forward, maybe about 60 frames or so. It depends on how fast you want this to happen. And I'm going to grab the size fader and just slide it up just a little bit, maybe that much. And you can see it's added another keyframe right there. And now you'll see if I play from the beginning, those words slowly increase in size on screen. But I also need to add a mask to have them reveal the way the fade up words do. Let me grab all of these and move them down to make a little more room. I'm going to select the text node and I'm going to add this rectangle mask right here. And you can see on screen, it immediately starts masking out the words. Anything inside of this green box is going to be visible. Anything outside of it won't be. Now, I don't need it to be quite that tall. I can shrink the height a little bit, just down to about the size of the sentence a little bit more. And the width is okay right now, but what I want to do is create a little more exposure, like a softer dissolved edge. So in the upper right, let's increase the soft edge. You'll see that starts to expose the stuff outside of the mask just a little bit. I want to make sure that what's in the box is fairly readable. And then I'm going to put my play head all the way back to the beginning and I'm going to go up here to the center X position. I'm going to left click right inside of that box and hold and I'm going to drag to the left. And you can see it moves that mask right off screen to the left. And then I'm going to add a keyframe right there. And then I'm going to move my playhead forward about another 60 frames or so. Grab that center X position again, left click and hold. And I'm going to drag to the right until it's off screen all the way to the right. And you can see it'll add one more keyframe. Now when I play through from the beginning, you'll see that that all exposes those words as they grow and they glow and have a drop shadow. Now back on the edit page, what I can do is lift that up into another track. Let me grab a piece of footage to put under it. And you can see those words on screen, but I want to move them. So I'm going to select that fade up words fusion composition. I'm going to turn on the transform option here. I'm just going to lift that up a little bit, put it more towards the sky. And you can see those words happen on screen. Now, if I didn't like the speed of it, I could go back to the Fusion page and adjust that. But an easy way to do it right here in the Edit page is right click on that Fusion composition and turn it into a new compound clip. Let's name that Fade Up Words as well. Then I can right click on it and I can turn on the Retime controls and I can left click in the upper right corner and I can pull back to the left and I can speed that way up. 
or I could grab and drag it out and make it slower if I wanted it to be slower. But that's an easy way to change the speed of this without having to go back into the Fusion page. If you want to learn more about editing videos with DaVinci Resolve, click on the video that I have on screen now or the ones that I'll link down below. Peace.